Good morning. I'm Tony Tarsi, Principal Wilson Area Intermediate School, and I'm here with Katie Petrucci, the Intermediate School Assistant Principal. We know there's been a lot of questions as to what online instruction is going to look like, so we're here today to explain how to get started and then how your child will be successful in our online instruction. To get started, you're going to get a classroom invitation. You will need to go to your Google account and click on the nine dot gray grid in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You're all very familiar with that. All right, from that point, you will go to your Google Classroom. And in your Google Classroom, you will see all the classes that you are scheduled for. You'll see the word join highlighted in bright blue for each class that you are scheduled. Click on that join code, and then you're ready to get started. You will be able to access the classroom. If you have any questions at all with that, please contact Wilson Area Intermediate School Secretary Jody Brunstetter at 484-373-6116 and we'll take care of any problems you may have. During the week of August 31st, we will run a virtual orientation for our students who are signed up for the fully online program. Students will need to log in each day, Monday, August 31st, Tuesday, September 1st, Wednesday, September 2nd, and Thursday, September 3rd, from 9 o'clock in the morning until 10.30. Students will meet with each of their teachers to go over routines, procedures, and expectations, as well as participating in some classroom community building activities. Orientation schedules and the links to each teacher's Zoom meeting will be found in each of the Google Classroom pages once you have joined. We will be distributing Chromebooks and classroom supplies at the school on Thursday, August 27th and Friday, August 28th. You'll need to enter the building at that time, so let's come inside and see what it will look like. Once inside the building, you're going to see Chromebooks and curriculum materials uh, that will be provided. Now, some students will receive textbooks, some will receive note packets. These materials will be distributed based on the needs of the grade level. Again. Material pickup will be Thursday, August 27th, and Friday, August 28th, from 9 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. That is Thursday, August 27th, and Friday, August 28th, from 9 o'clock in the morning till 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Each school day, the first thing that you'll want to do is log your daily attendance. You'll do this by completing a Google Form. The link to this Google Form will be found on all of the Google Classrooms that you're invited to. You'll simply fill in your first name, your last name, and click on your grade level. Attendance will be accounted for in a combination of completing this form each day, in your attendance, in live instruction, and by completing all of your assignments. Fifth grade students participating in the fully online program will follow the schedule before you. Attendance should be logged at 7.50 a.m. and then students will log in to their reading language arts class at 7.55. From 10.10 to 11 o'clock, students will work on intervention and enrichment assignments. There will be a lunch break from 11 to 11.30 and then students will log into their math class from 11.30 to 12.57. From 102 to 142, students will be logged in with their Encore teacher, and then Science and Social Studies will begin at 145. At the end of the day, from 225 to 255, would be a great time for students or parents to email or reach out to their teachers for extra help or support. Sixth grade students in the Fully Online program will work with two different academic subject teachers, one for Reading Language Arts and Social Studies, and another for math and science. At 7.50, students will log their attendance and then log in to either reading language arts or math at 7.55. From 9.28 to 10.08, students will then have either social studies or science. Students will work on intervention and enrichment activities from 10.13 to 10.51, and will then have a lunch break from 10.52 to 11.22. In the afternoon, sections will work with the other teacher. From 11.23 until 12.53, students will have either math or reading language arts and either science or social studies from 12.58 to 
There will be a brief period for office hours before students log in to their Encore class at 1.48, and then again, some available time for office hours as needed. Seventh grade students will start their day by logging their attendance on the Google form, and will then log in to Encore class at 7.55. Students will work on intervention and enrichment assignments from 8.43 until 9.23 and will spend the remainder of their day logging into their core academic subjects. Period 3 will run from 9.26 through 10.18, period 4 from 10.21 to 11.13, and period 5 from 11.16 to 12.08. Students will have a lunch break from 12.10 to 12.40, will log into 6th period from 12.43 to 1.35, and will then log into seventh period from 1.38 to 2.30. Office hours will be available at the end of the day. The eighth grade online schedule is very similar to the seventh, with the major difference being intervention and encore. Students will log attendance at 7.50 and then complete intervention and enrichment work from 7.55 to 8.35. Eighth grade students will log in for encore class from 8.43 to 9.23, and will spend the remainder of their days logging into their core academic classes. Period three runs again from 926 to 1018, period four, 1021 to 1113, period five, 1116 to 1208. Eighth grade students will also have lunch from 1210 to 1240, will log into sixth period from 1243 to 135, and will log into seventh period from 138 to 230. Office hours as needed are available in the afternoon. The general structure of each class period will begin with a bell ringer or warm-up activity, followed by live direct instruction and modeling from the teacher, whole group or small group practice and question answer, and of course some independent practice and classwork that should be completed before logging into your next class. Okay, Wi-Fi vouchers are going to be available for internet service and they're available to all families who presently receive free and reduced lunch. They can be picked up at the time of Chromebook and curriculum material distribution. So when you come to pick up your Chromebooks and your materials that uh, the teachers will be distributing, we will also have these Wi-Fi vouchers available for those of you that do receive free and reduced lunch. It would make it easier and probably expedite the process if you give uh, Mrs. Brunstetter a call at 484-373-6116. Let her know that you'll be requesting a voucher and we'll have it all set up for you when you arrive and it'll be a quick, easy process. So when you pick up your Chromebook and textbooks and packets on Thursday or Friday of this week, one item that you'll find along with your materials is a sheet with tips for successful at-home learning. Uh, the first tip that we would recommend is to set up a workspace in your home. You would want to set up a space that's quiet and free of distractions, an area that's well lit, that's comfortable but not too comfortable, um, one that has an appropriate background for your Zoom meetings because you will be uh, projecting a video, an area that allows you to organize your materials and also to plug in your Chromebook. The second tip is to set a schedule for yourself. So whether you're using an agenda book or your Google Calendar, um, you will be following through a school day where you're logging into each class. Use checklists and get your assignments organized. The next tip is to prepare for the day ahead. And that means if your day starts at 7.50, you will want to wake up with enough time to get yourself dressed, eat some breakfast, organize your materials and assignments for the day and get logged into the computer on time for your first class. You will also want to reach out and coordinate with your teachers. So if you need help, ask for help. If you'd like an individual session or a small group session, ask and see what your teachers can do to help support you in the online environment. And the last tip is to use your break time well. So between your classes, you will have some time where you can log off of the computer, help yourself to a healthy snack and a drink, get up and move around a little bit. If you're allowed to and able to, step outside and get some fresh air, maybe stretch or do some light exercise. Do your very best and when you need help, reach out and ask. You have a whole team
team of teachers and administrators and all kinds of school staff here in the building who will be here to support you whenever you need.